Hey book lovers and welcome back. Today I thought I would take you guys book shopping with me. I'm currently on holiday in Cape Town and of course I'm going to browse some bookstores and thought it would be fun to take you guys with me and do a little book haul in the end. And I know my physical TBR is quite long but we all know that when we book shop on holiday it doesn't really count. Plus there's been a few really good new releases that I'm hoping gonna get today. All right I thought I would also show you guys my outfit which is just shorts in a top because it's supposed to be very hot today outside but of course the most important part is the big tote bag because you know lots of books can fit in here so yeah that's what i'm gonna wear for our book shopping trip today all right so we are on our first stop and because i'm a bit shy and i don't think i'm gonna talk inside i thought i would tell you guys quickly now where we're gonna go the store is called wordsworth books garden which i thought sounds quite cool and i'm very excited for our first book shopping i'll take you guys along so let's go so i went into the first store and they already had some really good books i got really excited for a few especially when i found my baby magnolia parks and almost let it fall guys convince me to read this because I do want to read this, but also it's super slow burn, so I'm very hesitant, but please convince me. So now we are off to bookstore number two, which is the book lounge. And I'm very excited for that one because they look really cool online. So let's go. another parking spot we are off to bookstore number three which is the biggest chain in south africa it's called exclusive books so hopefully lots of options before i went into the store though i got myself an ice latte because you know stay hydrated while book shopping very important guys and then i found a truly shocking book it's one i haven't heard anything about it but it's from anna todd and it's not in the after series what i thought she only wrote these ones and after was like the first book i hated with a passion and the endorsement on the cover is by colin hoover another author i have let's say a complicated relationship with place in Paris to get uh, matcha cookies. And this place was really cool because it had like a little cafe inside and you could sit down with your books and skim through them and I really enjoyed that because I always pick out way too many and then I have to narrow it down in the end anyway and I really like to like really go through them and how I decide whether I'm gonna get a book or not is usually of course I look at the plot but then I also see whether it's in first POV or even dual POV I don't know, just things I can see quite easily while skimming through the book. Alright, so we're back in our Airbnb and I can give you the little book haul. It's actually a few more books than I expected it to be. And surprisingly enough, a few of the new releases I wanted to get weren't in the stores. And I think it's because you know, we're in South Africa and they don't always get the books right away, at least that's what they told me. So I couldn't get the new releases I wanted to, but I found a few other books that I really like. Well, actually, before I go into my big tote with all the books that I bought today, I'm just going to show you another book that I actually bought in the airport because I just couldn't wait. And I thought I would include it here as well, since it's a book haul. That is 
Science of Cubity. What? Science of Cubidity by Raven Kennedy. And I know the author from like the big series. Is it Glint or Glow? No, that's another book. But I'll probably put a picture up so you know what I'm talking about. And I always wanted to get into that series. And I will eventually, but I think this was just very, because it seems so short. It's also a series, so there are more books. Um, but I thought it would be easier to get into this one since it's a bit shorter. And so that is the first book for this haul. Right, so now let's jump into this bag. And I'll just fish them out so there's no really an order to the books I'm going to show you. But yeah, so the first one. I actually got in the first store and that is Bride by Ellie Hazelwood. This is actually a new release I really wanted to get to and I'm so excited to have it now and also read it soon because oh, this is one of my most anticipated reads and I'm really glad I have it now. Unfortunately there is not really, I can't really put it in the bag. Oh no, maybe I can. Next one. Uh, the next one is uh, Begin Again by Helly Action and with this book it's only because of the cover that I got it. I mean, I have read another book by Helly Action. Is it Acton? Ah, uh, Acton. I have read another book by Helly Acton before, which is called The Shell, but it's been a few years. I don't really remember too much. I think I did enjoy it. And the story is nothing that I love. Like, it's a thing where I think Frankie, the main character, she dies and she gets a second chance to, like, go over her life and redo certain scenes so her life turns out differently and i don't really love that kind of plot also not in movies but just look at this cover i think it's so pretty and also what i love especially in south africa i noticed they have a lot of the bigger books and i don't know they're just so nice to read i think i really like that it's not the best for travel but to hold up and read it also has like a very large font so yeah that is begin again by Helly Acton. Then, uh, then I have a non-fiction, which is Feel Good Productivity by Ellie Abdal. And I already actually started this book as a audio. There are like tables and uh, graphs and stuff like that inside. So I wanted to have the book version as well and to read it along with the audio. But Ellie is actually the reason that not the reason that I started YouTube in general, I wanted to do that for so long, but he kind of convinced me, not personally, I don't know him, I wish. His Skillshare class convinced me to finally get to do it. So let's see. Ooh. Then I also got Wildfire by Hannah Grace. I didn't plan to get it, but I saw that they had like the sprayed edges. I don't know if it's a thing here if you can get them anywhere. I haven't seen that in Germany. But when I saw it in the store today, I was convinced that I have to get it because I want to read it anyway this year. So now I can add it to my bookshelf. Then we have Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. And I don't know which one comes out first, probably this video, but I have a reading vlog with the first one in the series coming up. And it's actually a trying authors again that I didn't like in the past and that I bought the second one. We'll kind of tell you a little bit how it went for my reading vlog with the first one in the series. All right, then of course I also got a fantasy book because I don't know, I'm just really feeling in a fantasy mood recently and I don't really have that many fantasies on my physical TBR so I wanted to add one and I think this is also a series. I don't know too much about these books so I'm not really giving you any of the plot really am I. Yeah, so I haven't heard much about it, but that doesn't mean this is not talked about. It's just that because I've been only into fantasy so recently that I don't really know that many f about fantasy books and series, but I don't know. I just kind of like the cover. I also wanted to get something from a South African author since I'm here. And there was a section with like South African authors, but most of them were actually in like general fiction, which is not really my kind of taste and I wanted of course a book that I definitely gonna read but then I found this one which is Sex, Lies and Stellenbosch by Eva Massa. I don't know if I'm saying that right it's like a high society scandalous story kind of sounded like Gossip Girl but make it in South Africa and Stellenbosch is a city here in South Africa I think it's a city with most millionaires so high society definitely lives there 
and yeah it just sounded very interesting and it also is a trilogy or at least there were two other books within the storyline so i think it's a trilogy but i only got the first one for now and see how i like it um but yeah it sounded very interesting and again i love that it's so big and floppy it's really really nice and also not too long so yeah let's see how south african books are gonna be all right i have two more books and the next one is next of kin by henna bonham young and i already saw this cover and thought it was really cute and then on the background it said people pleasing claire and as a people pleaser i immediately felt a connection but then i also saw that it says author of out on a limb and out on a limb was very popular last year it's also actually a book that i do want to read i just always forget about it i don't know it's not really in the forefront because i think it has the accidental pregnancy trope and it's just not my favorite but so many booktubers that i watch love that book and it was like one of their best books from last year so i definitely want to read it but i didn't see that one in store again not too sure what this is about but it also kind of has the the single mom trope she like she's not a single mom but i think she has to take care of the baby of uh, i think it's her baby sister or something like that I, i'm not exactly sure i thought it was also interesting that again you have a baby in here where in out on a limb you also have accidentally pregnancy trope so apparently this author really likes that kind of storyline but yeah i'm very excited to get into this one actually like i hear so many good things on out on a limb so i'm excited to see what her writing style is and also probably going to pick up her other book then all right and we're already on the last one i think this went so fast oh my god gave me such a thrill to buy these books and also talk about them now also one i'm very excited about and it's called the takedown by carly walker I haven't heard anything about this book and also nothing about the author. I don't know if it's a debut book or anything. I'll let you know once I read it, obviously. So it says he wants to take her out. She wants to take him down. So she is an FBI agent and she finds out that her sister is actually marrying one of the most criminal people. So she wants to do something about it and convince her sister not to go through with the wedding. And I think he is the bodyguard of the guy she wants to take down so it's their romance and i thought it was such an interesting plot i think that is really really cool and i love the whole spy thing it says sydney's mission is simple first stop her little sister from marrying a notorious criminal second seduce his bodyguard to gather intel for the fbi and third definitely do not fall in love doesn't that sound so good oh my god i want to get to this right away and also i love the cover i think it's so pretty Oh my god guys it's not the end of the haul i actually have two more books that i forgot about that i got in the second bookstore the book lounge which was so cool by the way and the first one is tom lake by Anne pachette which i think again so pretty the cover oh, i don't know why i'm such a sucker for like pretty covers but they make me fall in love with the book before even reading them which is not always a good thing but this is actually a book that i saw on rachel's booktube i can link her below she's quite big but um yeah she read this book i think at the end of last year and really really enjoyed it and i thought since it's such a pretty cover i could own it as well and eventually get to it i think it's general fiction i'm really not too sure what this is about probably tom lake but yeah, I think it's just very beautifully written as well. So I don't know when I will read it, but eventually I'll tell you guys more about the actual story. And then now for the very last book, that is Chlorine by Jade Song. And this is also because cover is gorgeous. Look at this. And I also got this recommendation um, from another booktuber, which is Jamie, I think from Jamie's library. And I don't know if it's like a horror story because i know she's really into that um it's very interesting on the back it only says mermaid swim and chlorine thrive in locker rooms mermaids are not born we are made and i love mermaids it's a weird thing but i really really love it um it's a mesmerizing tale of sapphic longing intense obsession and fierce defiant becoming so i think it's very cool also not too big so yeah i thought i would add this beauty to my shelf as well now we're at the very end the the back is truly empty now it's just my uh, my wallet in here i think 
and um, I'm just gonna put this from the airport up here as well. Show you all of them. Oof. Oh, please don't fall down. Please don't fall. No, 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 no. But yeah, so these are all the books that I got from my book shopping today and I'm really, really happy about my book haul. I'm excited about so many of these books and want to read them right away. So hopefully over the next few weeks I can do that. And I hope you guys had fun to come along with me book shopping, especially here in Cape Town in South Africa. And maybe if it's something you like, I'll definitely do that in the future in other cities as well, or just in general do a book haul. Um, I'll have to read a few of those first though, because I don't like a too long physical TBR. Give this video a like, a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!